This is Radio Nepal. I'm Goshal Gimide with the news. The headlines first. Final name list of candidates for presidential election published. Election Commission enforces code of conduct from today till March 19 in view of presidential election. Communication Minister Rekha Sharma says cabinet will be expanded after presidential election. Government operates integrated website management and web monitoring system to strengthen cybersecurity. And at least 16 people die and dozens injured in a train collision in northern Greece. Now the news in detail. The Office of the Election Officer set up for the presidential election has published the name list of the candidates. Assistant Election Officer Amrita Sharma said the names of Nepali Congress leader Ramchandra Paudil and CPNUML leader Subhash Chandra Nemang had been published as candidates for the presidential election. The final name list were published yesterday as none of the leaders withdrew their candidacy till 4 p.m. The cabinet expansion is to take place only after the election to the president. Unveiling Monday's cabinet meeting's decision at Singadarbar yesterday, Minister for Communication and Information Technology Rekha Sharma said the cabinet would be expanded after the presidential election since the government's attention now had been centered on the president's election. Minister Sharma added that the government would take a vote of confidence in a stipulated time as per the constitutional provision. Likewise, the government has decided to publish the names of martyrs it announced over a different period of time in the Nepal gadget. The cabinet meeting decided that the martyrs announced by the government following the People's War, People's Movement and Madhya's Movement in different times but missed in documentation would be published in the gadget. Also, the government spokesperson, Minister Sharma, added that the government decided to set up integrated data center of the government by preparing data and information system of all government bodies. Similarly, the cabinet meeting gave consent to form a talks team to finalize the agreement on the grants of 100 million US dollars for the quality health service system program and another grant assistance of 3.84 million US dollars. The cabinet has constituted a delegation led by foreign secretary to participate in the 23rd Bimstake meeting of foreign affairs secretaries and senior officials to be held virtually in Bangkok of Thailand on March 8th and 9th. Another delegation headed by foreign minister will take part in the 19th Bimstake minister level meeting. The Prime Minister would take part in the meeting on behalf of the country in the absence of the Foreign Minister. Also, the meeting has approved the trip of the delegation headed by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Physical Infrastructure and Transport Narin Kaji Sresta to participate in the 5th UN Conference of Least Developed Countries to be held in Doha of Qatar on March 3rd to 7th. Minister Sharma shared that Govinda Sharma Bandi participated in the human rights-related program in Geneva of Switzerland on behalf of Nepal as the Prime Minister's advisor and expert. Meanwhile, the advisor on peace and human rights to Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda, Govinda Sh- Prasad Sharma Koirala, has reiterated Nepal's commitment to completing the transitional justice process and providing justice and reparation to the conflict survivors as well as to move towards reconciliation. Addressing the high-level meeting of the 52nd session of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva, Switzerland, he said the government would be guided by the comprehensive peace agreement, the Supreme Court verdicts and the relevant international commitments as well as concerns of the victims towards that end. He also assured that there would be no amnesty in cases of serious human rights violation. Advisor Koirala mentioned that the Constitution of Nepal guarantees the independence of the judiciary, rule of law, press freedom, civil and political rights, as well as economic, social and cultural rights. He further stated that the legal framework of Nepal strictly prohibits sexual and gender-based violence as well as caste-based discrimination. 
Advisor Koirala said that Nepal was committed to ensuring compliance with the Paris principles to give continuity to the A status of the National Human Rights Commission of Nepal. Advisor Koirala also held a bilateral meeting with the European Union Special Representative for Human Rights, Imon Gilmour, and discussed the strengthening of bilateral and multilateral cooperation between Nepal and the United and the European Union, rather. The Election Commission has issued Election Code of Conduct 2023 for the election to the post of the President and Vice President. The Election Code of Conduct will start from Wednesday, that is today, till the 19th of March, in view of the coming presidential and vice presidential election. As per the Election Commission's decision on January 30, the election to the post of President is taking place on the 9th of March and that of the Vice President is taking place on the 17th of March. The government has launched the Integrated Website Management System and Web Monitoring System in a bid to strengthen security system by bringing uniformity in websites of all the government sectors. Minister for Communication and Information Technology Rekha Sharma said this while inaugurating the two systems amid a program organized at the ministry yesterday. On the occasion, Minister Sharma expressed the hope that the systems would help the government agencies to operate websites and ease access of service seekers and decrease economic burden. Communication Minister Sharma also stressed the need for expanding the system across the country, including at the local levels. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dal Prachanda has emphasized the need for quality development of sports sector. Inaugurating the Chasul Stadium in Lalitpur yesterday, Prime Minister Dahal pledged to increase the budget that is being allocated in the sports sector from the next fiscal year. Prime Minister Dahl said he tried to institutionalize sports sector across the country in his previous term and the current government had also given priority for it. Janamat Party Chairman C.K. Raut has said his party will not be leaving the government. Speaking to journalists in a program in Kathmandu yesterday, Leader Raut stated that there was no situation that required Janamat Party to leave the government at present. Raut mentioned that although the parties that are constituents of the government may change, the leadership of the government by the CPN Maui Center would not change. He also made it clear that the party would support senior Nepali Congress leader Ram Chandra Paudil in the upcoming presidential election. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. On to some international updates now. At least 16 people died and dozens injured when two trains collided in northern Greece. According to the BBC, emergency services have been working to rescue passengers and extinguish a fire caused by the crash near the city of Larissa on Tuesday evening. The incident is said to have involved a passenger train and a freight train. Footage published on local news sites show fierce flames and thick plumes of a smoke rising from the derailed carriages. The fire brigade said 17 vehicles were at the scene trying to put out the flames. Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered officials to tighten control of the border with Ukraine after a spat of drone attacks that Russian authorities blamed on Kiev delivered a new challenge to Moscow a year after its full-scale invasion of its neighbor. One drone crashed on Tuesday just 100 kilometers southeast of Moscow in an alarming development for Russian defenses. Meanwhile, Russian forces have pressed forward their weeks-long drive to encircle and capture the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, where the commander of Ukraine's ground forces described the situation as extremely tense. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the forecasting division, the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy in the hilly regions of the country and partly cloudy to mainly fair in the rest of the country. Brief rain or thunder showers are likely to occur at uh, one or two places of hilly regions of the country, with chances of light snowfall at a few places of the high hilly and mountainous region 
of the country. Kathmandu's weather report for the past 24 hours, the maximum temperature was recorded at 23.5 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature was recorded at 8.9 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. But before wrapping up, the headlines once again. Final name list of candidates for presidential election published. Election Commission enforces code of conduct from today till 19th of March in view of the presidential election. Communication Minister Rekha Sharma says cabinet will be expanded after presidential election. Government operates integrated web, uh, website management and web monitoring system to strengthen cyber security. And at least 16 people die and dozens injured in a train collision in northern Greece. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.nb. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.